through you, Chair. Uh, the cadet force is a great interest to the and I applaud you for setting it up. Um, it's today, I don't know, I've got a number of questions involved in this. The first one is that were councillors invited to the, the opening, or is it a less formal uh, signing up process? Um, the second one Can is. I do that? Sorry, yeah. Yeah, they weren't because it is less formal. This is just the start of the day. Mm -hmm. And in January, I think I'm remembering the 21st, we will have the opening, the opening up where they all sign up okay. and they'll all be in uniform. And we want to get as many supporters as we can in to show them that we're really interested in it. Good. And we'll let you know that. Right, the next part of it is. Do you see that uh, recruiting adult volunteers is going to be a, a significant problem? Or would you bring in, say, for instance, the police or PCSOs or specials to lead the cadets? Well, can I tell you that the problem is we've had so many volunteers. Good. And they've come from, obviously, the police, within the education, uh, and from outside. And uh, we were concerned that we were going to get enough. I said, the problem is you've got too many. And I don't want to lose them, so we're going to see find ways of keeping them involved. Yeah. So that goes on to my next question. Can you see you yourself uh, rolling this program out to many other schools or indeed other organisations that could be interested in in the future? Yeah, I mean, there is obviously limitations in terms of costs involved, but the answer is yes. Um, I think I may sort of well know that I'm interested in doing something in Brisbane where we have lots of problems and trying to get involved with community there and youngsters, that's important. I want to do the same in Cambridge, and we've been in um, consultation with a number of uh, people in Cambridge, and the marshals have sort of flagged up their interest in helping us on that front. And there's one group that can't wait to start, and they're ready to do it themselves. Um, because uh, that was East Cambridgeshire, I said, we have got problems with East Cambridgeshire, but uh, they want to do it, and so we always want to encourage them. So, but there is some limitation in terms of you know, the fact that we've got to put them in uniform, and I've been <coughs> quite adamant that what we don't want is to have the youngsters having to provide some of their own uniform. Because the very ones we want to help the public could afford to have the uniform, so everyone will be the same. I think you're, I've, I haven't actually seen the, the whole array yet, but my secretary has been grading their really bits to show me. looks fantastic. They really will look the part. I, I think we'd be proud of them. Right, the, the last question. Could you see some of the older cadets being involved in work with police or PCSOs? For example, if there's an event in Cathedral Square in Peaceborough, that cadets would have some kind of support role? Absolutely. That's one of the things. I mean, apart from giving the training, doing the Duke of Edinburgh, um, we want to involve them. And uh, doing what you've described is the very thing they will be doing. I think it's going to make them feel sort of Ten foot tall when they do it, because they have uniform piece and they'll actually be working with it. Same as with PCSOs, if they're delivering leaflets when there's a sort of a, a problem mm -hmm. in a particular area, telling people about it. But certainly on events, that's when they'll come into the rain. We, we will be using that. I'm delighted that the police have taken that on board and said yes. Good question. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. In terms of the first question, Going to over ice. I'm sure that was a plug for the mayor of Peterborough. Don't forget to invite 